we can't have you on the show, Savelle, without talking Gamecock football. You mentioned Ryan Helinski and Will yeah. Muschamp, as we're speaking today, actually had a presser, I guess, preview in fall camp. And we know football is going to look a little different this fall. There's no question. Um, yeah. The SEC going to a 10-game conference-only schedule. No Carolina-Clemson game, which has got everybody fired up. And I, I okay. saw you tweet about the, the Carolina-Clemson stuff today. But, again, football season is just going to look different in general. Um, and, and this is a very interesting year. Listen, I mean, the last time you and I talked, South Carolina was coming off, what, an eight wins – or, excuse me, a, a seven-win season. That was 2018. So, they were coming off a seven-win season. Pretty solid year overall. Um, we're going into a bowl game that we thought, thought was very winnable. But what I'm saying is that was a long time ago, it feels like, in regards to football. Uh, yeah. Now, you know, I, no matter what your feelings are, I'll say this, Savelle, no matter what your feelings are on Will Muschamp and the coaching staff, this is a big year for Carolina football, in my opinion. It's an important year. It's a year that you want to show progress. You want to show, hey, the program is moving in the right direction. It's a year that you'd like to see South Carolina, you know, knock off a couple of teams. Maybe it hasn't, you know, maybe in that losing streak to Texas A&M or get another big upset win like you got last year with Georgia. But it's a big year either way. I don't care if it's conference only or whatever. What's your overall outlook going into this 2020 Gamecocks football season? What are you expecting from this team this year? And, and what will be a crazy year because of the pandemic and stuff like that? Well, I mean, first first of all, let's let's talk pandemic. You know, is football is going to change the the environment? It's going to change from, you know, being uh, being in a conference where each and every each and every week you're going to a stadium that's packed with you know 60, 60 plus thousand fans and 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 playing in that environment, um, and to have um, a new offensive coordinator, coordinator like Mike Bobo to to join our staff is 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 tremendous, which I think. Um, that's going to be a major change up for us. Um, mm. And I just think, you know, I have, and, and let me, let me, let me, um, before we go into that, let me, let me go ahead into uh, what you, I heard you said, what my, my beef is with the staff. I don't have a beef with um, the staff. So let's go ahead and throw it. No, I, was I, just, I was just saying just for, I would say to any fan, it's like, no matter if you, how you feel about, I'm just saying it's an you. important year. Yeah. yeah. Not, yeah, yeah, not yeah. you specifically. I'm just saying like, no matter what my opinion is or somebody else, like we can all yeah. admit, like this is a pretty important, and it's every year is important, yeah. but like, it's just as far as showing progress. I think we can all admit, like we, we all want to see, the same yeah, thing, yeah, of know? course, yeah, yeah, sure. of course, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, I just, I just know, you know, a lot of, a lot of people. I just wanted to, um, you know, clarify that. No, that for sure. No, I wasn't trying I to imply have, that. Yeah. No, I. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I got you. I, I got don't you. have an issue. I don't have an issue with the staff. I did have an issue with Bobby Bentley, which I would say publicly, publicly, mm. um, you know, but I don't even have an issue with him anymore. Um, so that, it, um, that is what it is. Uh, you know, yeah, I sound no, like it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all but, good. Uh, yeah. It is what it is, but at the end of the day, um, I think I think returning our secondary is mm -hmm. going to be a, a, a major key factor in in who we're going to be um, as a team. Uh, when you get when you got guys like um, like like seven and two four on um, one and two four on the outside, and then you got mm -hmm. a guy like Cam Smith, probably the fastest guy on the team, um, sitting there uh, coming in. To run some of your nickel packages, uh, Jamie. Jamie um, had a great freshman year, uh, like no other. Um, he's going to be even more experienced this year. And um, who's going to fill, fill that last spot in the secondary? Maybe Shiloh. Never know. Um, mm. But um, our secondary is going to be so strong, man. And and to have young guys on that defensive line. Um, mm. um, you know, no clownies, but you know, at the end of the day, I think collectively, this would be probably. Um, one of the one of the best probably defensive lines that we have going into this season um, that could probably stack up to where, as a full unit yeah. as to when those guys were in um, in in Columbia um, and they by by the time they're seniors they're definitely going to be that um, mm -hmm. but the offensive side of the ball I, I watched I watched Ryan I watched his training I watched his speed training which everyone is saying he's already quicker on his feet. Um, he knew what he had to do. That's why, like I said, one of the reasons you got a guy um, um, that transferred in from Colorado State who's already familiar with the offense. Um, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing a two, you know, a two quarterback uh, system um, with, with anything to help us win. And, and mm -hmm. uh, Luke, you know, Luke, he's a t tremendous um, guy. He's going to be in that bubble of mm -hmm. is if he's going to be a receiver or if he's going to be um, a quarterback which, you know, I think he could uh, actually do both. 
and the running backs, man. We we we. I feel like this is going to be a year that we got a stable of running backs. Kind of remind me, reminds me of that 2004, 2005 uh, year where we had Demetrius, Corey, Kenny Irons, Dacus Turman, guys the great. So we had five running backs that could bust you across the head at any mm. point of the game. <laughs> so we stacked. Um, we're stacked. Um, so uh, it is, I think it is up to the to the coaches at, at this point to where when you look at it, you look at the uh, depth chart and you look at what we got. Like, you know, this is kind of like a show and prove year, not not to me, but to um, just, I think, Gamecock Nation to where, um, you know, everyone say give, give everybody a chance, give everybody a chance. But in this in this arena, your chances are, you know, your first four to five years. Mm -hmm. And I think this year is kind of like a put up, shut up year for mm -hmm. uh, for for the team and um, coach coach um, must champ, which I think. Um, I think they're going to do a great job of getting the job done. It's going to be a tough year, but I think uh, getting the job done, not having to focus on Clemson. I mean, I'm so happy. I'm actually happy this this game is not taking place because I care less about it than I spoke on the rivalry for many years. Mm. Like, I think it's just a um, it's a fan game. It's a fan game, but it's 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 a morale killer for for uh, the team because you're thinking, man, okay, uh, we got to play Clemson at the end of the year, you know, for Carolina who've been getting whipped all these years, and that game is like a is like a game that you got to think about, man. When we got to end the season at, at Clemson, so this year, not even thinking about those guys and just focusing on what really matters, the SEC winning the East, and possibly if we win the East having an opportunity to face those guys in, in, in a playoff game, if, even if that, you know, that's going to be available this year. Yeah, I, I think you make a great point on the Clemson game, Savelle, because, you know, I, I'm disappointed it's not happening. And just from the tradition aspect and selfishly, you know, be, me being in my position, creating content, it's always fun bantering, going back and forth with Clemson fans. But I agree with what you said. I mean, I, I think it's definitely a fan game to an extent. And I think that, you know, I mean, I'll tell you, I see people on social media. I saw people when the schedule came out that, you know, fans saying that, oh, we, we shouldn't even play a football season if we can't play Clemson. And I'm just like, that is the – it's not the attitude that I agree with. Um, and, I, you know, I think that, you know, that's the attitude that, you know, Steve Spurrier tried to eliminate. You know what I mean? I thought Spurrier tried to eliminate when he got there. He said he ripped down all the beat Clemson signs and the, he, the emphasis needed to be on winning the SEC because if you can do that, you're going to beat Clemson more often than you don't. So, I mean, yeah, I think it makes sense. 